Hey all, good evening. Yeah, I can see. Hi. Hi, art by parlor. Hi, uh, artistry. Yeah. Uh, so we have many people joining. Yeah, hey. Yeah, thanks for joining people. Okay. Hello there. I think we'll give a few more uh, minutes uh, for others to join before we start. Okay, until more people can join. Hello. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Hello. Hi. Ah, uh, yes. I think we have, yeah, enough people now. Yeah, many people I hope will be joining. They are being notified, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Okay then. Okay, let's start. Uh, so, welcome to Menorah Stationery Live. <coughs> I'm sorry. <coughs> Live conducted by Menorah Stationery. And uh, I am uh, going to be conducting today's live. And I just wanted to give you a short introduction, a brief introduction about myself. I am Neetu Mohan and uh, I own an art account which is Neetu Paint Art Studio. So yeah, and other than that I am from Kerala. Anybody from Kerala? Yeah, I, I just love to know that. <laughs> okay, whatever. So welcome you all. Uh, it was a long day and uh, yeah, I hope those loves are from people who are from Kerala. But everybody is just the same, okay? We are, we are going to be speaking in English so that everybody understands. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so firstly, thank you so much for joining this live. And uh, it has been a long day. I know it must have been a tiring day for at least some of you. Uh, it must have been a great day for some of you. Yeah, it must have been a mixture of both. But um, let's have only the, I mean, let's take only the positive side. Let's leave all the negativity and keep everything aside. Uh, let's relax a bit now and uh, be calm and let's enjoy this painting session. Uh, that's what that's what I'm expecting it to be. Yeah, I hope that it will be a kind of interactive session. Uh, you can, at any point of time, if you want to ask anything, you can just uh, ping in the chat so that I can give you a response. And uh, yeah, I have planned uh, yeah still life painting for today's life. Uh, still life painting, yeah, when I hear, when mostly people hear about still life painting, the first thing that comes to my, come, yeah, it used to be the same when I started painting also. It's, oh, still life, how do I paint it? That's usually the feeling that we get, right? Uh, but if we follow some simple uh, tricks or simple steps, systematically follow some steps, then it's going to be really easy. I won't say it is easy, but it is not something, it's not rocket science, okay? You can definitely master it. So that's why all these sessions are all of, uh, are about. And uh, I am going to be painting on a bit of, bit of introduction about the art supplies as well. Yeah, from Menorah. Uh, the super quality canvas board from Menorah is something that I am going to be using. So why I mention super quality, it's just based on my experience, not because I'm an affiliate. It's only based on my experience. People who have used the Menorah uh, canvas must be knowing. So I haven't primed this canvas. That's on first place. I haven't primed this canvas. That's the, uh, you know, the first most uh, highlight of this canvas board. You can do the detailing. This still life involves a lot of detailing. Uh, you all must be knowing that. But you can uh, paint the, all the detailing on this canvas board. So I can show you an example for that. Give me a moment. Yeah, some paintings that I have done on Menorah stationery and that turned out to be really well. Uh, these paintings I have done without any priming. The outside series. Okay, so it turned out to be 
really well. I mean, uh, I'm not boasting that it turned out to be really well, but I could do the detailing without any uh, any problem. So that's the highlight. Okay, so we are going to be painting uh, this. We are going to be pa painting this. Yes, through the camera you can see it a bit of the original version. I can, I can, I definitely know that. Uh, so I think the lighting and everything is perfect. I believe, but anyway, it's not uh, sunlight, so it will definitely be a bit dark. But any point of time, uh, if you have anything, any uh, you know, any questions about the colors that I'm using, you can definitely shoot in the comment section. Okay, and uh, this is going to be an interactive session. That's what I believe. So if you have anything, any questions that you want to ask me. You can definitely uh, shoot it there okay so i'll try to uh, inter i mean i'll try to uh, take a look at the comments as well okay uh, so i guess we can start so the first first step of the painting would definitely be sketching that i have already done so sketching i have already done just to save time just to save time i have already done the sketching part so this doesn't involve a lot of uh, you know detailing because we are just going we are going to be painting on top of it so the sketching doesn't involve a lot of detailing uh, but if you want to get the perfect shape and all that you can use a grit maker grit maker maker applications are available in play store you can definitely download them when i do portraits i definitely uh, take help from the grit maker apps so you can definitely uh, use those applications and uh, turn the canvas you know drop grids on the canvas and you can uh, compare the grids with the grid maker application it, it's really easy once you download it will be easier for you okay you can try that if you find difficulty in sketching only otherwise please try to make it with pencil with your bare hands without any application that will be kind of an you know uh, that will be kind of a progressive approach okay uh, so without wasting any time uh, let's start the live so i need to flip my camera and uh, set it on my uh, mobile holder so i'll be turning off my camera for a while please don't go anywhere okay i hope uh, it's visible you can see the canvas board perfectly i hope so yeah yeah and i i would uh, brighten up the light a bit okay now it's perfect i guess so we are going to be mixing some colors here so for the first i told you i'll be uh, following some steps to make it easier and I'll be explaining that to you and for that the first step we'll be going to paint the first layer of the um, yeah pomegranate and our pomegranate whatever you call it so I'm going to excuse out some scarlet red uh, the, the thing is that you can't use just a one red here you'll have to keep on changing uh, not keep on changing you'll have to mix two colors here two shades of red here Again, uh, it's not sunlight, so I'm not sure if you are getting the correct shade. But the colors that I'm mixing is scarlet red and also some crimson. And please keep some tissue. I'm not sure if somebody is painting with me. If you are, then great job. Please try. It's not rocket science, people. It's just simple. You can follow it. You know, I mean, I definitely think you will be able to follow it. That's why this session is meant to be, right? You can just um, make it a therapeutic session by following the steps that I mentioned and uh, it will be really interesting for you as well. Yeah, okay. Now I'm going to mix these two colors. Uh, the proportion, if you ask me, I have taken scarlet red and crimson in somewhat the same proportion. Now I'm going to use my uh, flat brush so for the edges i can definitely use a round brush so combining both i will be using a filbert brush the qualities of it has the qualities of both the fa uh, flat as well as the round brush right so i am just dipping it uh, 
these are the steps that you definitely will follow that i know okay now i'm simply mixing both the colors and i'm just dabbing it on my pomegranate okay so here i start from here the curve so you can see that i have already i have already given an outline so it is easier for me so tip number one from me when you are painting a still life if possible we mostly use uh, photographs right uh, these days we don't we don't go for a real life thing and keep it in front of us and just try to uh, portray it. We don't do that usually these days. I don't do it. I just try, I Google and try to find some reference pics and just try to depict that. Yeah, definitely I make some changes. Uh, but I don't go for a real reference. Yeah, okay. So this point of time you can add some water also. So when you find that your brush is getting, uh, da, I mean, um, mo not moving, you can add a bit of water. And uh, when you are approaching the areas where you need detailing, if you want, you can add, you can use a um, liner brush or a pointed brush as well. So here I've almost completed. It doesn't take much time. I've almost completed shading. Yeah. So you can see a lot of stalks right so tip number two from me if you want to remove those stalks now you it, from the camera it won't be that much evident but if you want to remove those stalks i have a tip for you all you need to do is uh, take out a flat brush a flat brush a dry flat brush and just dab it just dab it like this so that you get rid of all the stalk pay uh, brush marks or the stalks that won't be uh, visible so this is a tip from me just try it okay and uh, don't forget to wash your brush otherwise it will get dried off and uh, it will be uh, very hard for you to clean later so i just put that brush in the um, in the jar of water that i have so the supplies i have it was already mentioned in the um, poster that's why i didn't mention anything about it i think you know you definitely need to have some uh, have a tissue not one tissue you definitely need a lot of tissues <laughs> okay you need to keep it by your side and a jar of water which you definitely need and uh, the colors i'll be oh i'm sorry colors i'll be uh, telling you talking about the colors now i'm not giving going to give you a list of colors a long list of colors that won't work right so now and then when it is required, I will provide you the details of the colors and the brushes also. Okay, so I hope you, whoever is painting along with me, I hope you have the uh, basic colors along uh, with you. The basic color sets. I hope you have it with you. Okay. So don't uh, mix a lot of water just like uh, what I did just now. I <clears throat> poured a lot of water on this canvas never do that then you get a lot of brush marks so it was by mistake actually <clears throat> now i have a lot of marks so i just need to uh, wash this brush try it completely and uh, give it some gentle strokes since it has a lot of water now it takes some time uh, to get rid of this brush marks or your brush should be uh, somewhat big like this this can also work yeah yes somewhat anyway uh don't worry we'll have to do a, this is just the first layer okay we have a lot of things to do on top of it okay so we can just leave it for now okay so the other brush also goes in the pool of water now what i'm going to do is um here i have a cut piece of uh pomegranate madalam is what we call it in malayalam madalam I'm just curious to know what you call in your language. Please let me know through the comments. Uh, I told you, right, this needs to be an interactive session. Otherwise, what's the fun, yeah? So, please make it interactive. What do you call in your local language, in your mother tongue, pomegranate? In my mother tongue, it is called madalam. Madalam. 
and i hope in hindi it is anar okay and what is it in your language i don't see any comments coming okay okay so i have just done a bit of the shading here and uh, towards the lower area also requires a bit of it uh, so firstly what i want to tell you is this color is something that we uh, that we need uh, in the long run okay we need it in the long run in the sense for the detailing and all that we need it so uh, here i don't have a spray brush a spray bottle sorry spray bottle with me so if you have you just uh, spray a little water on it so that it doesn't get dried off otherwise what i'm doing is i just wet my brush take off some water and just do it like this so that it doesn't get dried off okay i don't want it to get dried off uh, so this is what i'm doing right now and also i left out an area which is the topper area this even though we paint it now it requires a lot of uh, you know um, even though i paint it now i have to paint it once more because i have to fill up the background only then i can uh, do the detailing for this area uh, for me this is the most interesting area for painting this uh, fruit you know uh, it's really interesting i don't know why it's interesting yeah you will uh, you will find out why because it requires a lot of shading the detailing is the essence of a painting right how you detail it uh the whole life the painting lies in it and this is still life painting right so you can't screw it up yeah okay then just just uh okay okay i was just cleaning my palette okay now what we are going to do is we are going to paint the uh table okay for that i have already made sure that this color doesn't dry off so i'm just switching the side just switching the side so that i can take out the other colors cues out the other colors for the table and for that i'm using a color i'm not sure if you have this with you this is raw sienna otherwise you can use burnt sienna also so i am using raw sienna but you can use burnt sienna also so there is no hard and fast rule okay you can just customize it according to your wish and uh, that will be the fun part and i am taking a bit of uh, burnt umber as well these days i use a lot of burnt umber <clears throat> so earlier when i started painting i used to you uh, apply a lot of black whenever there is a darker area i just used to mix with black uh so i realized that okay black, that's not the right approach i realized and these days i have started using uh burnt umber see how the paint is uh spreading i love that yeah okay so now i am gently applying no shading nothing i am doing i am just applying the color here so if you wish to apply a uh, color on the uh, edges and all that uh, just to make sure you don't screw it up you can just apply with a round brush of size 2 3 or something this is a round brush of size 2 so i can just up, uh, you know paint the edges clearly and uh, something else i want to tell you is the uh, pomegranate is resting on a table and from the reference you can see it's not a well lit uh, space so i have to be doing a uh, i have to be applying some dark areas here and there i'll tell you where that uh, where to apply all that so here for example here it's going to be the darker area okay it's going to be the darker area firstly you can approach it in two ways either you need if you want you can just apply the whole of raw sienna you can spread it all together and finally you can do the you know you go you can go for the darker shade otherwise step by step you can do the detail you can give the shading and go so here i am doing the shading just to uh just to uh, you know avoid double work so i'm just doing the shading as well a bit of the shading as well so here and all it's going to be yeah like this and uh, and I'm cleaning my filbert brush again and taking it out. 
okay so anything any question so far anything you want to ask you can ask me in between i told you please don't hesitate i'm happy to help you uh so we are just trying to paint the whole area so only the edges and all that i am you i am painting with this brush otherwise i can use the uh, flat brush so that is the whole area will be covered quickly okay so i am taking out a bigger flat brush that i get the job done quickly taking out a lot of paint and applying it here here i am not doing the detailing for the uh, table right now so when you are painting the table make sure you have a rigid brush rigid in the sense the for example this brush is small but it has some rigid edges rigid in the sense uh, the brush the bristles are not yet tampered they are in good shape and uh, when you paint uh, it gives you a clear you know clear uh, line so so here you don't have to be very careful you just need to paint it like this and it gives you a clear edge this is what i mean yeah definitely you uh, i am not painting it straight but no problem anyway we have the detailing pending which we'll, i mean the underneath area na that will be painted in dark tone so then we'll cover it up don't worry about that so tip number 3 uh, will be is it 3 or 4 i don't remember okay whatever don't hesitate so that is something na which stops me from sometimes i don't feel like painting at all i feel a lot of uh, you know uh, you can you have heard the word art block right yeah i face it a lot because i wait for the perfect reference i wait for the perfect moment and i don't know i just expect some uh, some uh, reference to appear right in front of me so that i can just paint it so that's the wrong approach you should never let any block you know uh, from uh, preventing you from getting into the uh, into the artworks that you love getting into making the artworks that you love you should never be stopped by anything so i am just taking on some black here i definitely need some black without black we can't paint anything i guess for a landscape we need for a portrait also we need right so we need it a lot of times but only thing is that if you don't take it out so i have squeezed out i have taken out a lot of black here you don't need a lot of black okay so if you are doing a lot of uh painting with the black then it is going to mess it up mess up the whole painting so that is the only thing that you need to be careful you should never be uh, over using black then the whole essence of the painting will be lost for example i am tending to use black a bit more so i'm just washing my brush i don't know if you can see my entire uh, screen uh, entire painting area yeah you can see right what i'm painting right now okay so i'm just trying to mix burnt umber bur raw sienna so there is no rule here all i want is i need some shades okay so what i'm doing is i'm just mixing up all the colors all the colors in this is the colors that i have taken out which are burnt sienna raw sienna i'm not burnt sienna sorry raw sienna but i told you if you don't have raw sienna you can substitute it with burnt sienna the table is going to look different that's in, that's okay so i need more okay i need more of this color here so here i need tissue here i need a lot of tissue because you are going to waste a lot of color here so that's the most difficult part so here now you can't use you'll have to wipe up a lot of color from your brush that happens that has to be done for the painting to be perfect you have to do that for example here yeah, if i am shifting to this area i can't use the same brush right i'll have to clean up so that's what i meant so i'm just trying to depict the darker areas here and there should be a blend okay there should be a blend for that i just took out 
a little more of raw sienna and you can see the stalks right and you can hear them too i hope you can hear them too yeah so here i am leaving it like this because on the top i have another plant okay here a bit of shading bit more of shading and here like this you can do some detailing in the end okay okay so now i am done with this and here i need to do bring some more perfection and so that i am just see people if you don't uh, if you are fed up using the tissue because you need to take out a lot of tissue just keep a cotton cloth uh, with you okay keep it all the time you paint so you can dab when and where required and you don't have to look for tissue uh, so that's economic too you don't have to waste a lot on the tissue paper so here again i have to clean my brush the more you clean the brush the better the results will be yeah okay so so here just i'm leaving it like this and sometimes you can use your hand also for the dabbing and sometimes take out another brush for example any other flat brush or such a hairy brush like this this used to be a flat brush but i painted it uh, i used it so badly so frequently and now this is the halak see but it does a lot of wonders you know i use this brush a lot so you should always have these kinds of brushes this is the first brush that i started using you know you won't believe it the first brush with which i painted yeah and uh, it is there still it is there with me so right now what i'm going to do is i'm going to the top most area so i don't want to make it a bit make it uh, you know equally dark uh, all the i mean all the areas that means here it is a uh, a combination of black and burnt umber right so in the top area let's have something else so for that purpose i have some green color with me sap green so i'm going to dab it directly on this uh, for the easiness okay so i'm just definitely it's not going to be green greeny it's going to be dark okay like this so i have to mix it with burnt amber only thing is that i wish to see some green tone there see uh my favorite color this is one of my favorite colors i don't know how many how much green i use in my paintings uh then it's not deliberate <laughs> but i end up painting my backgrounds and everything in green uh it happens people when you love a color it happens it, if you are it doesn't happen deliberately but it happens yeah how many of you love green let me know at least if you don't uh okay there's a question okay i can see yeah okay so i thought there is a question okay so no questions yet all good very good okay so i'm just um so i hope you are totally able to follow this technique okay okay so this is uh, we can leave this area okay we can leave it for the end cuz we have to concentrate on this area so, so that we can just paint the rest hmm? so here as well uh, you can see tiny tentacles here of the pomegranate so don't mess it up so just paint very carefully here i don't want green as such i told you i need to combine colors so here i'm just combining okay only this is the difficult part otherwise If you go to the top area, it's easier. Okay, shifting a bit to this side. Mm. 
okay okay so here i have to yeah two more tentacles are there but it's okay you can you can paint it on top also so if you okay i i'll tell you something if you find this as difficult now you can just paint the whole thing this area you can paint and later on top of it you can fill okay that is also fine so this is something that i follow because uh, sometimes um it will be hard to do the detailing on top of a dark color right so if you want you can follow that also this is an optional thing it's perfectly fine if you follow any other technique it's perfectly fine okay so here you have to be more careful only towards this tentacle side since i am painting i am not filling up the whole area so i told you it's optional what you can do is instead you can paint the whole area and then you can paint the tentacles on top of it for example you paint the whole background with this color okay then you can paint on top of it that also you can try it's perfectly fine okay uh, so here okay so here i am mixing it up okay 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 so i would love to hear your feedback on this live session so if you uh, if you can please do uh, at least comment through the comment section uh, please do let me know if you loved this or any anything that you didn't like or anything that you loved please do let me know and you can ping me also so the whole idea is that you need to have some you know you need to have some uh, get some benefit out of this life benefit in this and you should be able to learn something you should be getting some tips from me all that so i will try to give you as many tips as you as i can so i think i have given you three four tips the fourth tip fourth or fifth tip yeah never uh, i mean if you have a flat brush and if it is really really you used it a lot of times then don't uh, don't uh, throw it off you just keep it with you so that you can paint it for creating blended background see i do a lot of blended backgrounds i don't know if you have seen my art account but there i have done blurry backgrounds a lot blurry background yeah that's what i call it this brush helps me a lot in doing that this is not i think i have these kinds of tempered brushes more than the uh, you know the brushes that are in good shape cuz i this helps me a lot helps me a lot in doing my paintings so yeah See, I'm telling you, there is no hard and fast rule. The only, ultimately, you should be able to relax, relax from painting, get some relaxation. It should be thera therapeutic. That you just, you just leave everything else, spend some time for yourself. This is how you spend some time for yourself. Uh, if you are a working woman, working woman or man or whoever it is. irrespective of the gender if you are working person if you are student if you are a housewife a homemaker whoever you are you should be finding some time for yourself and ultimately this is how you can do that so please do that people please do that and painting i recommend painting because that has helped me a lot helped me a lot if i start talking about it it will be <laughs> really really uh boring for you maybe i don't know there may be people who are interested in all those things but yeah based on my experience i would tell you this has helped me a lot this painting okay so right now we are done with the background so that i can paint further on the tentacles and the shading is there shading which i am going to do so i gave some space for the 
पॉमेग्रेनेट सर्फिस सो दैट आई कैन डू द शेडिंग नेवर नेवर डू द शेडिंग ऑन टॉप ऑफ अ लेयर दैट हैज इन ड्राइड सो यू शुड गिव इट इनफ टाइम टू ड्राई कंप्लीटली सो दैट यू कैन डू द डिटेलिंग सो नेवर नेवर बी इन हरी बरी एंड पेंट ऑल द डिटेलिंग एंड ऑल ऑल स्टेफ ऑन टॉप ऑफ इट यू यू स्क्रू इट अप सो यू यू शुडन बी डूइंग दैट सो यू शुड गिव इट इनफ टाइम सो दैट यू कैन डू द डिटेल सो हियर आई हैव गिवन इट इनफ टाइम and now i can step on to the detailing part so right now i'll be focusing on the table again in the end so that it gets enough time to dry okay so what i'm going to do right now is i'm just going to step on to the detailing of the pomegranate and for that i'm going to take out first a round brush yeah the round brush this one The round brush is size three. This is the one that I'm using here. The flat brushes and all that you can uh, use as per your choice. Okay, this de purely depends upon the size of the flat brush. Purely depends upon the size of the canvas or the painting surface that you are using. So don't worry about that. So otherwise, wh whatever is required, I'll definitely keep you posted as I paint. Okay. So here I am go going to do the detailing. so here you can see this has to be separated right these two look similar right now so this has to look a bit different so for that purpose what i am doing is that i am uh, taking bond number if you don't have bond number don't worry uh, you can take orange and uh, blue and mix them and you will get bond number definitely you will be having orange and blue right so here don't waste time on detailing with this small brush which is not going to happen so just so just i'm just trying to blend it okay i'm just trying to blend it so that you can do with this brush itself now you have to take out some other brush for example this is another tempered brush i told you right i have a lot of these kinds of brushes so if the background is not dried completely what happens is that when you start blending that color also comes off with the brush so never never do the detailing without uh without drying with, without letting the background dry so here it will be more dark okay So I'm just applying more, and I have uh, the tissue with me. So I'm dabbing the brush in between. I'm wiping it just to, uh, you know, just to take off excess uh, paint and moisture. That is really important. This is acrylics, so you have to be really careful about that. So you can you can see how the shading is turning about, right? So here it is. this uh, this is actually a spherical surface right spherical object not surface yeah spherical object so you should be bearing that in mind okay so i'm just applying here as well so tip number 6 i didn't count i didn't keep the count actually uh yeah tip number 6 is when you are doing a still life if you want or if you want it to be perfect perfect in the sense if you want it to be a uh, hyper realistic then have the object right in front of you you definitely use the uh, photograph that's what i do at least some of you if you are using uh, real objects well and good i appreciate that but i don't do that but if you want it to be hyper realistic keep the real object right in front of you so that you can take a look at it <clears throat> you can understand the twist and twirls and uh, the depths and lies and all that okay so i just don't want the whole area to be uh, to be yeah to be filled with the same color so i'm just taking it out the color that i used okay so this is the budged area right so here i need more light so the light is casting like this so wherever the light is falling it will be light lighter tone it will be having lighter tone and wherever the color is uh, i mean uh, wherever there is no reflection it will be dark right so that is how it works okay
so here and there the pomegranate is not a spherical even though it's a spherical thing it's uh, that's why i told you you should have the real thing in front of you then you can touch it and feel it and you can know the real uh, you know the real shape of it okay so at times when uh, you should you should wipe your brush totally this is a, i told you this is an old brush so it is fine even though i dab it like this on the tissue don't worry this is an old brush point to be noted this is not the flat brush normal flat brush that i use for the uh, painting this is an old brush that i have kept for the detailing or for the blending okay so you should always have these kinds of brushes never throw them out okay so here here also this is the bent area right the light is falling like this so this is the bent area it will definitely have some <clears throat> sorry it will definitely have some shades cast some shades right so i'm just what i'm doing here is i'm applying the dark tone first then i wipe my brush completely i squeeze off all the water squeeze off all the water then i take out some red again the red is over yeah i have used all the red and i squeezed out so again you you need to mix some scarlet and some crimson and to get the shape okay that's enough anyway you are going to be uh giving the highlight sorry yeah the highlight so that is fine okay so here also if you if you feel that you have added some extra color don't worry take out the base color base color here is red take out the base color red also it's not a it's not a single red it's a combination of uh, crimson and <coughs> crimson and um, scarlet red okay okay so what i'm doing is i'm not applying as such just squeezing off the excess so that's what i told you some color will be wasted but no other option no pain without gain right <laughs> so this is how it goes by the way if you want anything uh, any questions to be clear please do sure in the comment section i told you in the beginning it's a, this is this is not a one man show you can definitely ask me questions and i am happy to help you anything you want to ask about this painting please do ask and this can be a q and a also q and a session also if you have any questions please ask me okay so so here also a bit of shading not that much but still a bit of shading towards this area a bit of shading okay i have heard an artist saying uh, not a normal artist you a great artist saying that people tend to spoil a painting by doing over highlighting and shading yeah people tend to do that actually uh, we should be very careful while doing the highlighting and shading so just keep something in mind wherever the light is falling there will be a reflection and there you have to paint it light and wherever there is a uh, darker to i mean wherever there is a shadow keep it dark that's the only thing pure physics so here i need a lot of color actually i squeezing out some more uh, burnt amber okay some more burnt amber i have taken out now what i am going to do is i am going to paint the tentacles so for that purpose i need a as you can see these are small uh, minute area not minute but uh, yeah narrow area so i need a round brush for that obviously so here what i am going to do is i am just 
the shading i'm going to do a bit more here see i have this tendency to give more detailing to do over detail you know i spend a lot of time for that i just don't realize how much time i spent in the end i feel okay i have usually when i paint that's what i'm speaking uh not this time so usually when i paint na i spend a lot of time on the detailing part and finally i um uh, end up realizing okay i have taken this much time that happens all the time i always think okay you shouldn't be taking so much time but i just love doing this detailing so so here na there is something that i am doing right now i have taken this raw sienna itself and so this is i told you right there is no hard and fast rule you can you can do you can follow a technique that you find will work the best okay so here i am just mixing this uh, raw sienna itself basically i don't like wasting colors so i'm just mixing this raw sienna itself and trying to you know right the top area it's it has somewhat somewhat this shade is there some gold and uh, some color is there so that purpose i'm just applying this color here and uh, it definitely has darker areas so for that purpose i'm taking raw uh, burn amber again and uh, here okay okay like this so please uh, always the ultimate goal is just enjoy the process just enjoy the process and make it therapeutic don't stress out that's the only thing keep that you have to keep in mind because we are doing it uh, if you are doing it as a profession yeah it will be like if you are doing it for a uh, commission work or something and yeah, you will be uh, you will definitely have a thought on the deadline and all that yeah even though you you have a deadline you can do it you can enjoy the process right nothing can stop you from that only thing is that you have to plan ahead when there's a deadline to complete something be it at office or at uh, you know for some people art is the main occupation so for them also you don't have to stress out right you can just enjoy the process so tip number 7 from me if you want you can uh, take a look from a distance every time you do the do a painting that's a highlight of the easel stand so it's not it doesn't mean that you have to uh, always use an easel stand no you can paint without easel stands so i am painting without an easel stand now so you can definitely paint without easel stand but i'm telling you uh, you can keep it against a wall keep it on a chair and you can uh, you just try to see it from a distance okay every time before you declare that you are done with a painting just view it from a distance so that you get to know okay you can view it from the eyes of a uh, of a external person so when you paint you have it in front of you you don't realize what is missing but as an out you can view, view it from a distance maybe you will have the vision of finding out what is missing in that painting okay so that's a small tip from me these are all small tips i know but if you find it is useful you can definitely take it okay i have done the detail for the tentacles now only the highlighting is there so i want this to be dry i told you you should give enough time for the painting to dry okay you cannot be in a hurry buri and if you want it to dry uh, quickly then you can use it if you are really in a hurry you want it to be completed or within a specific time or something then you can use a blow iron <clears throat> a blow iron and, and uh, you can just dry it quickly okay okay now only the highlighting is there for this which we will be doing once it 
uh, once the shading gets dried off okay okay now i am giving it enough time now i am tending to the most interesting part of this painting which is the cut piece of the pomegranate the cut piece of the pomegranate see how easily you can paint this okay so i am just trying to make you understand how easy it is you just need to take some burnt umber some burnt umber mix it with the red that you have you can take out some more scarlet red don't use crimson alone you won't get the perfect shade don't use crimson alone always mix it with scarlet red okay because we are using two different tones here you won't get the real color just with crimson you always need to mix it so i'm just mixing you definitely need some water here because we are going to do the detailing so just just see how easily you can do this i'm just doing some random strokes some random strokes i'm not doing any anything which is hard just doing some random strokes just some random strokes you know the shape of pomegranate right so keeping that in mind contemplate the object in your mind and just follow this process it will definitely be therapeutic and there will be depths there will be lights and shades for any object that you try to paint it will be there so just try to imagine that uh yeah i guess the object is clear to you yeah okay and another important point or this can be treated as an eighth tip also never use a single shade never use a single shade if you want this object uh, this painting to turn out realistically never use a single 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 shade because here also i have used red burnt umber the different tones of red so if i want to make it look realistic i should i should vary the quantity of the colors that i am using for example here and there i use more dark here and there i use less dark okay that's what i meant for example here i can always keep the tissue by your side so that you can you can just yeah my white board okay so here you know like uh, where the light is and where the shade is just keep that in mind and contemplate the object that is going to help you uh, thank you for the likes thank you so much firstly thank you so much for joining this live So you can see this area I haven't filled. So that also I'm just filling it right now. You know how the object is. You definitely know. So you're just whatever is there in front of you. If you have the real object, or if you have it in your mind, you're just painting it. That's all. You're just portraying it on a paper or a board or a canvas sheet. acrylic sheet whatever it is okay so the depths and the shades please don't forget please don't lose the depth of the painting or the life of the painting never never and for that purpose always keep in mind to do the detailing so here i am not doing anything else i am just applying some colors and just blending the blending uh and uh, once you do it carefully na if you do it carefully you can find the magic so under here you can see and the rest it will be white only because this is a cut piece right you you know how uh, if you have a pomegranate today it will just go and cut it cut it off and just see it for yourself how it looks <clears throat> i haven't done any highlighting here only the shading is taken care of 
okay and uh, here also there is a bit of pomegranate which is which is cut half so that part also i am painting here and for that purpose i am just mixing more of this color yeah we are we are about to finish this actually only a bit more is there okay now i'm just cleaning my brush the color is like this so i'm just changing the water i have two beakers right in front of me i had it ready for the live session so that will be easier for me to switch okay uh, so right now this is just going to be taken like this now at this point of time i am going to start the highlighting and for that purpose i need white and alternately i can also take flesh tint at certain areas i will tell you i will be using flesh tint okay i am just taking out some white white okay Okay now, so I am, I am mixing red, white and have the blend, have the blend, the blend is really important here, here and there there are some, uh, some pomegranate seeds also, so don't forget that. I told you never use a single color. You should, uh, you should mix different colors and then you will get the depth. Okay, like this you can see right how the how it's turning out. So another point is if you keep on, uh, you know, if you keep on applying color on top of the same layer, it won't do anything. So you should try give it some time. Always give it some time. And uh, the next color that I am using here is yellow, yellow ochre, but you can use golden yellow or you can use both. If you have yellow ochre, then well and good. See here I am doing the highlighting a bit. Really simple just highlighting you only thing is that you have to blend it as, as I told you you have to blend it well okay like this see how I am blending it's not necessary that you should follow the same process So. so you can see how it's turning out a realistic look just kidding I realize that I'm using more scarlet red because it is getting Getting over quickly than the other color, which is crimson red. Yeah, I'm taking more scarlet red here. So almost done with the highlighting of the cut.
ओके ओके ऑलमोस्ट डन एंड नाउ हियर एस वेल सो यू कैन डू एज मच एस यू वॉन्ट द डिटेलिंग बट टाइम डजेंट प्रॉमिट मी टू डू मच डिटेलिंग दैट यू कैन डू एट योर कम्फर्ट डिटेलिंग एज मच एस यू वॉन्ट यू कैन डू ओके एज आई टोल्ड यू यू कैन व्यू द ऑब्जेक्ट फ्रॉम अ डिस्टेंस एंड दैट विल हेल्प यू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट एल्स इज डेट टू बी डन फॉर द पेंटिंग यू ऑलवेज Uh, can be benefited from that so i think i have given you some tips so please do uh, please try to make use of them when you are painting that will definitely help you i'm sure definitely that will help you if you are someone who wants to take painting seriously then you can definitely make use of those techniques okay okay so here uh, we just need to paint so you know right that soft tissue that is there inside the pomegranate that is what we are painting here so here okay so here it is always a dark area so this i am just i am making it dark just to make this cut piece evident more evident so that purpose i am doing so here i am using my hands to blend <coughs> okay okay so this is the table right so we can add some detailing to the table if you want like this some the table will definitely have some patches right it won't be a neat table so you should definitely try to paint that here i hope the shading is done for this part and uh, this is the color that i have seen in the pomegranate as uh, a soft uh, burnt i mean yellow ochre you should definitely uh, take a piece of Form a granite and check it out for yourself, and you will find out all these colors in there. Okay, and even these soft tissue, na, it's not a single color, right? It has some uh, projections and some depths and all of that. So that I have tried to depict here. Now, finally, the bottommost. Okay, like this. 
and here also it need not be a single shade we are not painting uh, it in a single shade right we can just apply the color some lights and shades here and there just to bring it make it more realistic okay now finally i am going to give highlights to this pomegranate uh, and then to the table and then uh, we we'll close the session that will take 5 minutes just 5 minutes okay i'm just mixing some red some white both the reds because here we have used two different shades of red so what i'm doing is just uh watch carefully i'm just using the round brush itself i'm just sorry sorry really sorry i'm just dabbing the color first i apply more of the red white mixture then more of the white mixture with more of white okay now for blending i'm using this brush my favorite brush which is this okay and i'm blending like this the same thing here two three areas are there where we have to add this highlights here and there so here and there we can apply the white as such to okay <laughs> now here as well okay so always keep in mind the shape of the uh, pomegranate it is a spherical object right so we have to keep in mind while we are painting it so here it is done and uh, now a bit of detailing uh, on the tentacles and on the second thing which is really simple here just having some color highlighting is something that i really love because it's so easy only thing is that you have to understand where the light comes from that's the only thing that you have to keep in mind Okay. <clears throat> so here also, and a bit. To... So you know, right? Uh, the pomegranate has a bit of yellow, also. So that also, yellow ochre. I am using. That is a very good super. Uh, color that helps you get realistic look. your paintings okay so you should definitely buy one have one tube of yellow ochre with you okay so here i am done and one more thing to do with the tentacles i am taking a liner brush or a, a round brush of size uh 000 a must have brush with all the artist a bit of the detailing here as well because you know that it has it should be lined like this to give more beauty okay you can see it from an object see it from a distance when i uh, i see it from the camera i can see how it looks from an object i mean from a distance so alternately when you are painting you can see it from a distance and see for yourself so here you can see i'm never never using a single color i'm mixing at least two colors when i'm painting something so that is the uh, best or the uh, easiest way of bringing life to your paintings okay like this 
and uh, highlighting also never hi over highlight just do a bit of it and that's enough and more okay you can see it for yourself here also the same thing you know from where the light comes just apply light uh, or light shades there and the rest of the areas just apply dark tones okay okay we are almost done so we have done the pomegranate uh, how does it look people please tell me did you like it please do let me know with a like at least that okay so here i'm just trying to uh, next i'll be pa painting a bit of the table bring a more realistic look to the table and then we'll be ending this session okay so now for the table it has an edge like this right sorry okay so it has an edge like this so these edges we are going to paint okay and for that purpose i am taking out the flat brush the rigid flat brush which i mentioned in the beginning the rigid flat brush means uh, the brush with uh, so, i mean the bristles are not tampered they are in good shape that's what i meant yeah like this so i am just taking out now i am going to paint the um, lighter shade first so i will be taking out like this and I will be painting like like this. It shouldn't be the same everywhere, okay? It shouldn't be the same everywhere. Just here and there, apply the different colors. Otherwise, it would look like a child painting. I mean, a painting done by a child. That's what I mean. So you should always uh, apply. different tones i have been keeping i have been telling this from the starting of this session always use different color tones never use a single color because if you use a single color then it won't bring life to your painting single color for uh, the detailing is what i meant yeah monochrome paintings are there that's not what i meant, not what I meant. uh single color for the detailing okay never use should always mix up different colors and how to mix it i have tried to explain that to my best i hope you understood that and if at all you have any doubts you can ping me you can ping and ask me okay i'll be happy to help you and uh, i told you always there's an alternative for white you can take out some um you know some flesh tint which will be an excellent color because it already has a lot of colors right mixed so you you can use that but not every time uh, i use it a lot personally i uh, find it very useful i really useful so i use it you can also give it a try So here and there, so you are watching the live conducted by Neetu Paint Art Studio on Menora Stationery page, Menora Stationery Live. So I hope you like this live. We are we are almost ending this live. So I hope you. love this live so if you have any questions before we wind up you please ask me so that i can help you any questions you want to ask you can ask me 
So we are going to end this live soon. So I will be definitely posting uh, the finished picture that is uh, taken in uh, in some sunlight. I will be posting that tomorrow on my Insta page. You can check it out and see for yourself how it looks in sunlight. Okay. So. <clears throat> Okay. So that's it. And uh, here also. Too. Okay. So here also you can do the highlighting, I mean shading. So uh, so this is how it looks and I just need to paint the bottom area now which is something that gives the painting in complete shape and there I am using a lot of black here a lot of black and finally I can do some detailing with some different shades so thank you for the likes ok so I am just mixing the different shades that I have here and I'm just simply Oops. okay I might need that color yeah which fell on the palette right now definitely not the palette uh, my canvas yeah okay so we are just finishing we are tending to the finishing part of this painting I hope you all like the painting Please do let me know. It will be very encouraging for me if I get some feedback from you. So please do shower me with your feedback. And please do let me know if you loved this painting, if the session was useful. Or anything you want to add, you want to suggest. All that you can just let me know. Okay. And uh, here, uh, the tip... Uh, the last tip while painting the background try to bring the most uh, you know try to bring some vibrance here and there so for example here it is totally dark so if you want you can leave the whole thing as black otherwise you can think and uh, apply some different colors that you love for example here i have used some burns here so the painting it should have some life so the life of the painting uh, lies on the colors that you are using right so that's what i believe uh, so you can use the colors that you like and the colors are definitely going to bring life to the painting uh, So there's that's what I told you. There is no hard and fast rule You can follow the technique that you feel like and uh, You shouldn't be Strictly following some rule or something you should keep enough uh, You know Enough freedom to try out the different things that you want like this this is what I want it to be this is how I want it to be I'm so happy that it has turned out to be something that I wanted so I'm just flipping it so that I can show you well the top area what I'm going to do here so I'm just trying to take out some some deep magenta I told you I'm just not following a strict uh, process here anything that uh, you know you feel like you can do in the end the result is a splash of colors which which is uh, a treat to the eyes so that's what I'm trying to do here so definitely you shouldn't be leaving this color as such because you have already used some green over here so I am trying to squeeze out some more green here 
ओके आई एम ट्राइंग टू ब्लेंड इट बट बिफोर दैट आई एम ट्राइंग टू कवर द होल एरिया आफ्टर दैट आई बी टेंडिंग टू द ब्लेंडिंग एरिया टूवर्ड्स द टॉप इट्स डेफिनेटली ब्लैक ओनली ब्लैक ओके कमिंग अलॉन्ग वेल आई हैव रियली मेस्ट अप विद माई वाइट बोर्ड ऑन विच आई एम पेंटिंग इट्स रियली हार्ड टू क्लीन दैट वाइट बोर्ड एस्पेशली दिस एक्रिलिक कलर्स ना इट्स रियली हार्ड टू वॉश दम ऑफ यू मस्ट बी ऑल्सो यू मस्ट ऑल्सो बी नोइंग हाउ इट इज हाउ हार्ड इट इज actually to clean the uh, palette and all that right okay so here the blending starts so i'm just blending 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 so you can see a dark and uh, light tones which is highly evident so to avoid that what i'm doing is i clean my brush or i wipe my brush totally with a tissue or a cloth and i just blend it like this and i blend it again i am wiping my brush alternately not alternately it gives you the best result if you have that old tampered brush with you you can use it but mine is wet that's why i even i am not using it see if it is dry it works wonders yeah i try to dab it uh, yeah it's not dry only if it is dry it works fine uh, so people who have been in the live from the beginning must be able to understand what i am speaking about right now uh, the old brushes how we can use them the old brushes are really life savers so here you can see how i have blended the background uh, so please give me a like if you liked how i i mean if you like the output please give me a like so just take a look at it what do you think how is the painting if you liked it at least now please give me some comments some feedback what do you think about this painting what do you think about the live session was it useful please let me know okay so i will definitely post this photograph post a photograph of this painting tomorrow uh, in my page as an insta story because right now uh, i uh, whatever you see is uh, the colors are definitely different right the colors are different but tomorrow when i take a light uh, take a pic from the sunlight you can see how it looks really okay so here a little bit more of detailing yeah i don't know i am so much obsessed with the detailing that i always tend to do it uh always messed up i always tend to detail a painting however hard i mean how much i do i never get satisfied i just keep on doing okay now we are done okay uh okay we are done we are done so if i if i if you give me some time then i'll keep on doing the detailing which i don't want to do i don't want to uh take much of your time so i'll just end this up okay so i hope you loved this live finally let me say goodbye to you so we are done with the painting and uh yes yes people yes okay so i hope uh, you loved this painting this live session the colors are not dried completely so i can't touch them 
yeah when i touched it has lit like marks also so this is how it looks and uh, please let me know if you love this painting as well as if you like this session thank you for the like i hope you love this painting does it look realistic that's what i want to know because this was supposed to be a still life painting and i hope it has come out well i will definitely be posting a pic on my insta story so that you get to know how it looks in sunlight right now i have uh, i can show you uh, how it looks under the ring light only and the ring light and definitely under the tube light so tomorrow we will get to know how it looks and definitely click a pic and i will post it in my insta story okay thank you so much people for joining this live i hope you liked it and uh, uh okay so it's really late i think it's time for us to say goodbye to each other uh have a sound sleep prepare yourself for the to for the next day and have a great day tomorrow and uh, thank you so much again for joining this live and thanks to menora for the wonderful opportunity where i could uh paint live in front of you okay bye bye take care we are ending up Bye bye